of the new second-hand school media suite. <laughs> if anyone has an idea about something they'd like to video with it, they should put their hands up. I would like to make a wildlife documentary. Documenting... Okay, fine. You get the camera, Lucian. Class dismissed. Ah, it's not fair. I was gonna make an action movie. Girl pants. Why are you bothering with that piddly little kitty cam? When you can use my brand new Movie Pro 2000 Digicam. Here you go. Tony, I don't want you to hold it. I want it to look natural, like in the wild. Oh, okay. <sighs> This is ridiculous, Tony. All I seem to be filming is you. What? Hey, I'm not wildlife. Not as such, no. But I could still make a documentary about you and your family. A film about traditional swamp people and their way of life. What do you say? Could it make us famous? Forget it, Pink Stink. You are not gonna be in my movie. I just need you to hold the camera. But I could be your love interest. Dad, Dad, there is no love in my movie. Well, you can't use my camera then. Big whoop! I'll just go get the girl pants school camera. No, wait! I want to help on your movie. Stop! Wayne! Call me Triton. Wait, I'm not ready. I need to fix my hair and put my good house dress on. Hey, Lucian, film this. Look what I found in Tony's ear. A hairy marsh snail! <laughs> oh, sorry, Mr. Parsons, but I didn't come here to film magic tricks. I want to make a film about swamp people and their traditional way of life. Really? Well, that doesn't sound like great box office material. Okay, Wendy! Action! Good luck, Triton! Ew! Gross! What is wrong with you? Where's the camera? Right there. This way I can be in the movie, too. No way. I'll hold the camera myself if you won't. It'll look cooler anyway. But how are you going to hold the handlebars? <laughs> Want me to ride on the back with the camera? Okay, all right. Climb on. But you better hold on tight. Don't worry. I will. Is this tight enough? How about this? Yeah, I'm sorry, Mrs. Parsons. A microwave just doesn't look right in a traditional swamp home. It took a lot of saving up to get that microwave, Lucian. 
<sighs> Maybe I should do some filming outside now. Movie to make. Nobody watches documentaries except lady babies. <coughs> Snatchers don't last long in my yard, Wayne. Thanks, Mr. Parsons. Now, I wonder if you'd just mind moving the tractor. I want to see nothing but wild, unfettered swamp in the background. And those tools look a bit modern, too. Could you hide them, please, Tony? But Lucian! Wow, you guys look great now. But, hmm, you'd be a bit muddier. No microwave, no tractor, hogskins and mud packs. Are you trying to make us look backward, Lucian? Being traditional is not being backward, Mrs. Parsons. It's just more unspoiled and natural is all. Hmm. Huh. My family's unspoiled enough the way they are, Lucian. I thought this was a documentary, not some soap sucker fantasy about swampies. Okay. Fine. Uh, I guess you're muddy enough, kids. Hey, where's the camera? This is gonna be my best stunt ever, Wendy. I can even die! Are you ready? tell that it's Lucian. Oh, look, there's Wendy again. She's called Lambretta. Oh, Trek dude, I'm always ready for love. Pedal that quick to my arms. I've had enough of this way. I'm telling. What's wrong? What happened? Where's the end of the movie? I'm sorry, Mommy and Daddy. Girl Pants stole the camera before I could finish. Girl pants? I mean, <clears throat> Lucian, you give Wayne back the camera right now so he can finish his movie. But... Wait! Lucian! Come on! We're losing the light! Poor Lambretta, Wayne. Will she ever see Trike Dude again? Oh, look, there's another bit. Hop on, Lambretta, darling. I 
was only joking. I always loved you, really. Oh, Tripe Dude, I knew it. You're such a greasy tease. <laughs> no, no, no! That's not my movie! Yeah! We can make the film your way. Please? I got a lot of love for you. Bop de bop, bop de bop, bop de bop de doo. Bop de bop, bop de bop, bop de bop de doo. Things are dangerous. Most shops won't even stock them. Oh no! So what are these? Fruit features? Dog's eggs? <laughs> Fizz bombers are the best, girl pants! Boom! Ew, gross! And sometimes one just ain't enough. <laughs> oh, that tingles! Disappears back into its hole for another 30 years. <sighs> Great. Do sit still, Wayne, dear. <laughs> Mother, I'm afraid Wayne has fallen prey to the new candy cult, Fizz Bombers. Fizz what? Bombers. They've been banned from schools, they're illegal in some states, and they say a kid in Japan exploded from eating too many. <laughs> exploded? Is this true, Wayne? <laughs> Wayne! <laughs> No, 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 it's silver! Wayne, get out of the way, will ya? <laughs> Mother, perhaps you would like to borrow my Organo Alert Kit. We in the vegan world use it to test for impurities in the food we eat. Were Wayne to be abusing candy again, then the test would show it up. <laughs> Hand it over. Yeah! <laughs> Your saliva tests positive for 15 types of artificial sweetener and coloring. How do you explain that, Wayne? I just had one fizz bomber left, Mommy, and Lucian said it'd be okay to eat it. And I believed him, and he pushed it in my mouth and... Oh, you <laughs> sweet lamb. Oh, so much candy, and it's all mine! Uh, 
Yo, easy with the slobber in there, pal. Save the kisses for your mommy and take a bite. Come on, Come on sleeping beauty. beauty. Time for a midnight snack. I can't! Mom will catch me with her spit testing! Oh, I'm sorry, mommy's boy. Didn't realize you were so sensitive. Everyone knows girls can't spit anyway. <coughs> I can spit. Ha! <laughs> huh, pathetic. <laughs> cool. Around. No! First, I want to show you the new spit I collected! Look! <laughs> Mr. Parsons' spit can stick anything to anything! Dog spit makes great hair gel. And even a tiny drop of Miss Hissy saliva makes the bath foam! With the added satisfaction of making girl fans wash in it! Wayne's as jumpy as a bed bug, and he's talking to himself. This organo kit must be broken or something, Lucian. Hey, don't blame me. It was free with my cereal. Whatever. But I think it's high time I took Wayne's saliva to a specialist. <laughs> Here you go, Mommy. I didn't know where that came from. I'm sorry to inform you that your son has the saliva of a 90-year-old woman. Oh, my little old... Try and make his twilight years as comfortable as possible. Your brother is a very sick little guy indeed. Tell me something I don't know. He has a rare aging condition that accounts for his strange behavior. <laughs> you gotta be nice to me, girl pants. I'm not well. Worked out great! Our secret is safe, Fizz Bombers! <laughs> Fizz Bombers! But how come Mother doesn't suspect? <laughs> Old lady spit? Saliva? Oh, yuck! Wait a minute! Mari? Tony? Mailman? Dog? Me? You've been abusing the saliva of innocent people without consent? <gasps> Mother! <laughs> They'll never take us alive! Wayne Graham, open up! If you've got no candy, you've got nothing to hide! Come on, Jay! Let's move! Go, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> 
He's been injected against the dog saliva. But, but how could he become a fizz bomber? Fizz bombers are no respecter of greed, color, or age, ma'am. Another fizz bomber freak checked himself in just now, and he's a grown man. And Bobby Candy's wrong. I don't want to be right. Ha, 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 ha. 